Hi folks, this is Jay. How's it going? Nice to see you, to see you nice. Don't forget you can get me on Facebook, Twitter and uh, JasonBurstPreacher.com I'm here with a fellow brother who's uh, a brother from another mother. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> brother Mike. And uh, we're going to go and get some to eat in Cheetah Mill. Going to chill out. So we just thought we'd just talk about stuff and... Um, Mind the back road, eh? Yeah, yeah, just keep going down, all keep right. going down, you're alright. We're just going to have a chat about various things, about Hyde Park, theological issues, whatever. So, bro, what's, what do you think the main thing we can talk about? Um, well, the, I would say the main thing we can talk about is the fact that, there's, that we're getting more dirt on Islam. It just keeps getting worse for Muslims down at Hyde Park. Um, we want them to be saved, um, but they need to know the, the, uh, the absurdity of their religion and they need to know the truth. Um, so yeah, um, the gospel is bearing fruit and we're actually, we're actually showing to the whole world that the Bible is the word of God and that Islam is not the word of God and it's, uh, it's good that people are kept in the know about these things. Um, there's been a few issues at Hyde Park, not, not many, just usual scuffles, but uh, there seems to be a lot of in-house fighting down there at the moment. There seems a lot of a few Shias, a few Sunnis arguing. That mainly seems to be the topic now is the infighting. You know, the Christian arguments are there, but it's mainly Islam yeah. versus Islam. I've seen a lot of down there at Hyde Park. Yeah, I don't, I don't want us to get wrapped into it and pulled into it, but um, it seems to be quite a few ac accusations going about with certain individuals that they're, they're kind of part of kind of um, what could you say just to be nice but basically they're into uh, either at least being supporters of Islamic terrorism and things like that there seems to be a lot of accusations going out against certain people being associated with that yeah, there is. And um, I kind of feel like I've seen a few videos, heard a few things, and whatever. You, and I do think that there is a, an extremism down there that's that's being hidden from everybody. Yeah. Um, the is there. The is there, isn't it? Really. Yeah. So I don't want us to get wrapped into the personalities and sucked into that. But there is a bit of takia going on, isn't there? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. They, yeah. they have to lie as part of the religion in order to, uh, co to conceal a matter is a good thing according to Islam yeah but yeah. in the Bible it says uh, it's impossible for God to lie and it says thou shalt not bear false testimony so as Christians we're not allowed we're not here we, we know what we're here to speak the truth in love not to lie yeah yeah so any religion that says you must lie there's definitely something not right about that because that means lying is okay that means in any circumstance but God forbids that in the Bible yeah so it's a good point. So, so there is this Islamic extremism down there being hidden away, and it is there under the surface. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I kind of think with with DCCI and Bob the Builder, and then there's a new guy. A couple of new guys have come along, Paperboy and a few others. It's good to see some other blood coming up. And getting involved but I kind of think uh, and with us Royal Blood Ministries I kind of think there's nothing really left to say really I think we've really can every all of us together I kind of think uh, they've kind of been basically dismantled haven't they really the Islamic Dawah teams yeah the, the only one left that I know is uh, Mohammed Hijab yeah but He's the only one left standing, but I don't think he's got much to bring to the table, really. So, they have been dismantled, haven't they, over this year and a half? Yeah, they have. Academically, they've been dismantled. Um, the only way they can win an argument is to just shout, 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 and attack by the Bible and, and just speak it out of context. And I could do that with a Quran. You can do that with anything, but if you're not prepared to study and look deeper at what the text is saying, then you're giving it a disservice so there's no point talking to people like uh, Mohammed Lamin because he thinks he thinks he's got he brings all these fallacious arguments and he doesn't he's not familiar with the top with the 
the material that he's dealing with, he has no knowledge of it. And you can't have a, a rational di discussion with people like that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we've found that, haven't we? We found that very often. We do study up here in Manchester. We go down prepared. Yeah. And you you you've backed off from a one particular discussion. Yeah. But we back off from a few discussions because the the Muslims people that Dawa teams that come and debate us or try to talk to us. We're basically talking to people who don't even understand the scholarship or the or the the, the information that we're bringing. Yeah, so th there's no point in having a conversation with people who who haven't even bothered to study or read the particular yeah. topic that we're talking about. And the the insulters by 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 uh, uh, the the insulters because they don't know our beliefs. They. Yeah. Um, they insult me when they tell me things about my faith which I don't believe in. I, th I think it's an insult when they they think they can come to Hyde Park and tell me how the Bible is meant, to, how they understand the Bible. Yet when I tell them the biblical way the Bible is and doctrines, they, they say no, no, no. You know that. Yeah, yeah. They don't even go to church for a start. <laughs> so they don't even understand the Christian faith, and yet they're telling you what the Christian faith is and they don't, the the correct. They're incorrectly quoting or saying what it is. And the other thing that gets me, that they say a lot at the moment because they can't deal with what we're saying, is they often say, I've heard them say to Bob the Builder, DCI and us, they often say, oh, well, you don't know Arabic. Mm, yeah. you, you, you don't know our literature. You've not read the Hadiths. You've not read all this or whatever. But none of them know Greek. None of them know Hebrew. Yeah. And yet they'll attack the Christian faith all day long. Yeah. And yet, you come and start critique the Quran. They can't face it, so they hide behind this silly argument. Oh, you don't know Arabic. And like uh, Paperboy said, well, I can go and read a dictionary. I can go and find out. So, so there's a double standards all, all the time going on. But I think that some of them are getting more aggressive yeah. because we've got to a point now where there's no return. That they've they've not won the arguments. The only people they get is people who are young Christians they get them in a corner and they tackle them but with that with the Christian teams the Royal Blood team the Bob the Builder team DCI team and other teams with those teams they're not winning yeah and so they're getting more aggressive with us all of us and uh, that that's a that's a, a sign that basically they've lost the argument yeah you know that's, uh, and that's the way Islam was spread in the beginning it was never spread through reason or debate. It was just force. Just believe it. Just believe it. Don't question it. Don't question it. But people will question it because there's no way that anyone in the right mind is just going to accept a, a truth claim unless it can be verified. That's madness. That's craziness, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's like saying, "We'll just cut your hand off." Why? Because I tell you to. It's good for you. Well, no, it's not. I've got no hand. You know. It's straight on, is it? Yeah, straight on. Yeah. So. Uh there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's a miracle because it's recited by millions of Muslims and it's memorised. Well, so what? It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean it came from the Almighty God. There's people out there who have memorised the phone book, memorised <laughs> loads of things. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. It just means you're reciting a book in Arabic. And what good's that? How does that give you any kind of promise of eternity? How does that bring truth into it? Left ear, is it? Yeah, yeah, left ear. So. And I think, I think uh, the issue of the Quran with Hatum showing that, uh, and just right here, Hatum showing that that uh, there are variants in the Quran, thousands of them. And Bob the Builders pulled them up on that, and we pulled them up on that. And I think uh, on the issue of the Quran, where they said the Quran hasn't changed, just down here, Brian. I think that's crumbled now. I think that yeah. that's an area that's crumbled, and I don't think they really know how to deal with it. Only by just April, just by bluffing, really, and mocking Hatoum, yeah. attacking Hatoum. But they really haven't dealt with it, have they? No, and they're not willing to deal with the fact that people are challenging it. People challenge it. Well, it has been changed, and they're not dealing with the with the objections that people are bringing up. They're just not dealing with it. 
we tell them there's wasps, the jury Quran. We show them these differences and they're not dealing with it. So that is very telling, you know. But I keep filming while we walk. Yeah, yeah. So. Sorry, mate. When they say it's never been changed, they never fully explain what they mean by that. There's no full explanation why it's never been changed. What do they mean it's never been changed? Yeah. It may not have been changed, but it doesn't mean it's it's authentic and it's from God. It doesn't mean anything. I could write a book and say, well, it's never been changed. It doesn't mean it came from the Lord. You know, so they have to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that it's got some divine origin. Yeah. Because it hasn't been changed, that makes me very suspicious that someone other than God is behind it, you know. And it doesn't mean to say that the Christian Bible has been changed. It just means that God spoke to people through through people, through and people make mistakes, spelling mistakes, and think errors and whatever. It doesn't I mean I that the yeah, message is. Yeah, yeah. The, I think that's a very telling point. What you're saying about the copying, copies, 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 yeah. copies, copies. The idea that people can make a copy of a copy of a copy, and it's going to be absolutely perfect. The copy yeah. is an absolute nonsense. Yeah, it's going to be. You know. There's going to be mis scri uh, scribal mistakes, but because we've got so many manuscripts, thousands of them, we can bring them all together and get the original text. Yeah. Cause, and, and there's been certain strands that have been, uh, have, have, have kept the copies in an accurate way, like the Antioch school and things like that. But for them to say that uh, they've got these Qurans and they've been perfectly preserved is an absolute nonsense. None of the ancient Qurans that we have top copy, sign a manuscript. None of these ancient Qurans do we have a full manuscript. Mm, that's right, yeah. You know, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and we bring these issues up to the Muslims and they're not dealing with them, they're just, they're just dodging the issue, they're just getting argumentative. To them it's a game, let's, let's, let's cast doubt on the Bible, let's say this about the Bible. Before you cast doubt on the Bible and throw stones, you need to understand what you're throwing stones at. And that's the fact, they don't understand. Yeah, yeah. You can quote passages out of context and say, ah, look, we've got you. You haven't got us at all. Yeah. You make yourself look silly because you have to look at the Bible academically and it's also a spiritual book as well. And because you're not spiritually minded and you're dead in your transgressions like the Muslims, you're a natural man and you're looking at it with your fleshly mind as well. So your fleshly mind, your fleshly mind's in operation and you have a non-academic mind if you're not going to the academic music. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's a good point what you're saying is that, that how many people have we met at Hyde Park that there's so many people down there, Muslims, that are not open minded. Ignorant, ignorant. They're ignorant and they're just out to win an argument. At whatever cost. At yeah. whatever cost by being dishonest. Yeah. They're just not willing to be open minded. Because we spend, how many hours do we spend when we go down there? Quite a few. We study quite a bit, don't we? Yeah. And we're up to, at least we, we're up to speed on stuff. We don't just go down there and throw arguments out there without knowing what we're actually arguing about. Yeah, we, we actually spend time studying, seeing what the up-to-date information is on that topic. Then we go and study the apologist, like Hamza, if we're going to debate Hamza or somebody. We study them and then we go down prepped up and research and we can't get a proper discussion because they're just ignorant and don't want to engage. Yeah. I think uh, another thing as well, the easiest way to catch them out is to think of it really good questions that you can throw their way about. When they make a claim, call them out on the claim. So if they say, for example, the Bible's changed, say, well, when was it changed? Who changed it? And when? Why? And if they say we don't have the original copy, the original Bible, ask them to produce the original. Because yeah. they're making the claim we don't have it. We don't make the claim we don't have it. We make the claim we've already got it. So now the onus of proof is on them to produce something yeah. to show that, that this isn't the original Bible. Give us some evidence. Yeah, yeah. And they never can produce the evidence because if it was going to be like the Quran, please back it up with some evidence what you're saying, you know. Yeah, yeah. And we're not seeing evidence, we're just hearing conjecture and, uh, well, we, we, this is, you know, we're just not getting evidence. Yeah. And we're confident we have the scriptures, so, you know, we're not, we're not bothered about the accusation, we just 
something to back him up. So, so where 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 do you think we are? Where do you think we are at the moment with Hyde Park over the year and a half? Like, where do you think we as Royal Blood and as a group? Where do you think we've got to? What 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 would you say we've achieved so far over that year and a half? I would say we've inspired other people because we've seen the likes of Bob the Builder and we've seen the likes of Paperboy and other people coming down Christian wise to come and defend the faith. Um, so yeah, we're we're not just doing it in vain. We're not going down there and having no effect. We're uh, people are inspired by us. And, some Muslims are actually listening to what we've actually got to say and we're planting the seed. Hopefully yeah, that yeah. seed will grow and that's what we want to happen. So yeah, um, it's not easy, it's not an easy ministry because it's an argumentative kind of place. Yeah. You know, it's like what Winston Churchill said, is, um, in the midst of truth we're surrounded by a bodyguard of lies and that's what we have at Hyde Park, we're surrounded by a bodyguard of lies. We'll just turn around here, say that again Mike, that was really good. So Winston Churchill said, in the midst of truth, we're surrounded by a bodyguard of lies. And that's what we find at Hyde Park. In wow. the midst of the truth that is being spoken, there's a bodyguard of lies, and that is the Muslim, uh, the Islamic Dawah team, and anyone else that co opposes the Bible, such as atheists, and that crazy guy at the cross and the star, him. I, I've noticed uh, the picking, they pick on individual groups, like people even I don't agree with, like Titan TV. Anybody who criticises Islam, they start picking on them. Yeah, you do. Go and answer that, you're right. So, we've had a, a good time at Hyde Park over the last year and a half. We've had a good time. And um, my advice to everybody, uh, the Christians down there, keep plug, plugging away. It's important because we're... It's about trying to save souls. It's trying to, trying to get people into the kingdom. Trying to get people to to know the Lord Jesus Christ yeah but also if you look at the history of Islam it will take over a nation given enough time so all of us need to be down a high part to defend free speech and to make sure that we're sharing the gospel and standing up for free speech as well okay so uh, Mike's uh, just got a new job there so he, I think he's dead chuffed and uh, maybe one or two people are phoning him just to to thank, uh, to congratulate him, but here we are, we're in Cheetah Mill. So down there. Mike's on the old phone there, dog and bone. There we are, this is Cheetah Mill. So. So it's good to be with you. We're gonna uh, shoot off now, we're gonna go and have uh, a bit of a kebab at Favourite's Kebab House. So love you all. God bless you. Keep praying for us. We're just sharing a little bit about our experience at Hyde Park. God bless you and take care. God bless. Love you all. Don't forget, I've written quite a few little book booklets and things. They're all on uh, Amazon. Just type in Jason Burns, Amazon, see the various literature, buy, buy something. Don't forget, support Royal Blood Ministries on um, Patreon. And uh, if you want to give to me, and to the ministry, you can see me in Manchester uh, every weekend if you want to come down to have a chat and uh, support us. So God bless you, love you all, and take care, keep going, in Jesus' name, amen.